Penn State Research has been making a positive and meaningful impact on our students, our communities, our nation, and the world. We recognize that the hardest challenges require experts from multiple disciplines to genuinely make an impact. And we have top-notch, unique, core facilities that are staffed by professionals, leaving the faculty to focus on the research and also training graduate students, undergraduate students, and the next generation scientific workforce. We pursue national and global grand challenges like the CHIPS Act. We're making advances in thin crystals that support the semiconductor industry and national security. We're tackling diseases of despair and improving rural health. And we're developing advances in energy to address climate challenges worldwide. Penn State is one of the leading universities in relation to interdisciplinary research. MRI is one of the institutes that then crosses many departments and many colleges at Penn State. We have multiple Commonwealth campuses, 24 in total, all over the state. And MRI touches a large number of researchers in each of these respective places. We also have a very close relationship with industry. And we also, from the core facilities, such as the Nanofab, of where over the last 10 years, we've been really positioning ourselves for closer and closer relationships for next generation electronics. We have the capability of doing 200 millimeter wafers, which is rather unique for the university. Penn State's innovative nanofabrication research is directed towards industry relevant science and engineering for future telecommunications, quantum computing, including packaging, low power electronics via introduction of non-volatile memory, and high power electronic devices. We specialize in the development of next generation materials and devices. The nanofabrication staff and facilities are experienced in working through the protocols for bringing new materials into a clean room environment by learning how to deposit and pattern them. We have more than 50% of the periodic table in the clean room, and that's a unique capability. And we utilize this capabilities on both flat and curved substrates. Penn State is one of the leading institutions worldwide working on 2D materials and devices with over 30 faculty members who specialize in material synthesis, characterization, device fabrication, and system design. We have several major centers and facilities that engage with researchers throughout the U.S. and also worldwide. One of these is the 2D Crystal Consortium Materials Innovation Platform Facility, supported by the National Science Foundation, which has committed $40 million over 10 years to develop this state-of-the-art national user facility. Researchers outside of Penn State, as well as from industry, use our facility to synthesize and study novel 2D materials for nanoelectronics, biosensing, and quantum applications, to name a few. And here at, at Penn State, we are trying to shape the landscape of the future materials and engineering for the next decade. We are working to create a smart manufacturing facility for the future, where we can deal with materials that are not a standard, materials that is difficult to process because they can change shape to adapt to a specific actions, to adapt to the environment where they work. We are trying to develop novel metrology, novel techniques to characterize these materials and see what is happening at the nano scale. And we are trying to develop a unique workforce that will be ready to work with the industry when they finish the training here in the university and in order to benefit our students to literally lead the future of manufacturing and semiconductor in the U.S. and in the world. CNEU is a global leader in nanomanufacturing workforce development. We have graduated uh, around 1,000 students from community colleges and four-year universities in Pennsylvania alone that came through programs that were offered by CNEU and that came and worked on CNEU's clean room. CNEU professionally develops educated and incumbent semiconductor processing technicians through in-person and virtual workshops. CNEU also reaches out to African and Hispanic American populations, women, and military veterans. If you think long term, you need to be working on innovations today so that it can get into manufacturing five years from now 
and that leadership aspect as well as the sustainability aspect comes from the universities and uh, there are three major areas that we have identified one is called monolithic 3d integration where we are trying to introduce new materials and devices into the back end of the line of silicon number two is reconfigurability of silicon itself where once again we are going to be focusing on stacking of silicon chips but by introducing new materials and also introducing other types of chips into that stack and number three relying on packaging as a way to create 3D interconnections that allows you to connect these chips to each other and therefore the role of universities in terms of creating that semiconductor microelectronics ecosystem is very very critical